2025, I've already seen so many news reporters, so many different outlets reporting and saying that this year, electric car sales are going to slow. They're going to go down. They're going to potentially collapse, especially in the United States. They're saying, e this is the phrase that I'm seeing everywhere, EV weakness. EV weakness is everywhere. This year, it's going to be bad. Well, actually, analysts who prefer logic over emotion, they disagree. They, pretty, they disagree quite strongly, in fact. Last year, we saw EV sales, plug-in hybrid sales, increase by 25% worldwide. That's a pretty significant number. This year, analysts are saying numbers will actually rise, and here is by how much they will rise. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. I want to say a big thank you to our Patreon and YouTube member supporters. If you'd like to become a member or join us on Patreon, I'll put a link in the description below. So thank you for your support last year and this year as well. Global EV sales are predicted to rise to 20 million. In fact, they will surpass 20 million in 2025, marking another year of growth. Now, analysts, um, not just analysts, but even automotive companies, even German manufacturers, all of them, uh, basically, based, to be honest, pretty much every major manufacturer in the world, except for Toyota and Mazda, believe that actually, even BMW now have admitted that hydrogen isn't going to work. They all say, yes, the, the future of the entire automotive industry will be electric. They're not saying when it's going to happen, but they're saying it's inevitable that it will actually happen. Toyota and Mazda, I believe, are the only two holdouts now worldwide. It's quite interesting to see now how automakers are actually disagreeing with their own fans. I mean, for example, if you said to Ford fans, General Motors fans, Volkswagen fans, uh, many, many different car brand fans, do you think the entire car market will be fully electric by, say, 2040? Uh, most of them would say no. I mean, most of them would say, hell no. You know, give some sort of swearing response, you know, <laughs> some sort of cr crass response. But their own car brands, the ones that they're fans of, the ones that they only buy cars from, even they're saying, well, that's great, but we're only going to be selling EVs by then. That's where everything will be going. After reporting weeks ago that last year's global EV sales grew by 25% year over year to over 17 million, research firm Motion announced on Monday that it is forecasting over 20 million global electric car sales in 2025. Now, Rowmotion, they have no skin in the game. They are not invested in Tesla. They're not invested in any company. This is simply a data analytics company. The firm has also clarified that the figure includes both electric cars and plug-in hybrids. Now, to, to be very clear here, a plug-in hybrid is not a Toyota hybrid. The Toyota hybrids, you can't drive them on battery power alone. Almost all of them, you can't. A plug-in hybrid is a car you can drive simply on the battery, and that's it. Nothing else. Don't, you don't have to have the engine whirring away or recharging the battery. You can drive it simply as an EV. You can plug in it at home to the power, to your solar panels, and drive it as an EV. So that's not a hybrid. It's a very different type of vehicle. Anyhow, they're saying more than 20 million EV sales in 2025. And that means that um, probably approximately 30% of the global car market, I believe, will be electric or electrified, you could say. If reached, this milestone would mark an 18% increase in EV sales globally year over year. As led by key markets with China, the global, oh, well, the consensus estimates for China is 12.9 million, which I think is very conservative. I think China, considering it's a car market of 31 million cars, think about it, 31 million cars for six months in a row, right? Around 50% of all cars sold in China were plug-in hybrids or EVs. I mean, China saying that they're going to go down. That's basically saying Chinese car sales will go, EV sales will go down. They won't. They're going to go up. They'll be at least 15 million. So I would estimate this 18% rise will be conservative. It's probably going to be more than that. The estimates are 3.5 million, though, for Europe and the United Kingdom and around 2.1 million in the US and Canada. So these projections are actually very conservative. Very conservative projections. I think likely that 18% rise will be closer to 20 to 25%. If 2024 was the year of elections, 2025 is the year of legislation, said Lola Hughes, Row Motion's head of research. The EU is seeing emission targets come into place. Trump's presidency promises change for the US, and China continues the popular trade-in scheme. In fact, China has ramped up their trade-in scheme. 
they're actually offering more incentives to trade your car, your old gas guzzle, your old crappy old car in China now. Uh, basically, this is a, a big win for consumers in China. I believe the Chinese car market will grow this year as a result. Still, we anticipate a steady year of growth across all regions with China continuing to lead the charge. I think EV sales in Europe are going to rebound. Even Hyundai themselves, they have said this uh, within the last two days. They said, we will double our electric car sales in Europe in 2025. They said, we have to, to avoid paying fines or paying companies like Tesla for their, to pull their credits with them. So that's what Hyundai want to do. They're going to double their EV sales. And really, this is something that I think many car companies in Europe are planning on doing this year, because if they don't, then they will be fined massively. Hughes also notes that many Chinese companies are expanding internationally throughout this year with planned production projects all over the world. And they're planning on selling electric cars and plug-in hybrids, good ones, at very good prices across many locations. I guess we probably forget sometimes that it's not just China, Europe, and North America. We also have big car markets in places like Brazil. You know, Mexico has already been taken over by Chinese car manufacturers. We have Thailand, Southeast Asia. We have, of course, even India as well. However, Chinese car manufacturers are the ones really taking global market share. And as such, the country is largely expected to continue its leadership in the EV market, as EV sales are forecasted to increase by roughly 17%. Now, to give you some context, in November, 41% of all cars sold worldwide, 41% were Chinese. Uh, that's, that's pretty well gives you an idea of where things are headed. Have a look at all the media headlines across all the automotive publications that are proper publications, not sensationalist like CNN or whatever. All of them are saying China is winning and it's basically game over. They really, they really are saying that's the most likely outcome. European and North American markets are predicted to grow 15 and 16% respectively this year. That's a pretty good growth figure. And that actually factors in Trump as well. So that's interesting. Row experts also say that Europe's struggling market, which dropped 3% in 2024, will see a bounce back in the coming months as emissions targets affect what manufacturers sell this year. And keep in mind, car, EV sales prices in Europe went up in 2024. They went up significantly. That's insane. The, the cost of an EV in Europe is much higher than an internal combustion car. It's absolutely ludicrous that this is the case. It doesn't make sense. EVs are pretty close to parity in places like Australia. They're not far off parity in the United States. They're clearly at parity in China. Why would EV prices, when they went down, everywhere worldwide they went down in 2024, except Europe, why would they go up? It's crazy. Internal combustion cars, prices of them went up worldwide on average in 2024, but EVs prices went down significantly by 12% worldwide in 2024. So European automakers will have to reduce the cost of their electric cars. They really have no choice. In North America, Row Motion says the many production facilities set to go online in the coming years um, will affect the actual number of EVs hitting the market. This is despite a substantially changing legislative landscape under President Donald Trump. Row Motion says the impact of such policy changes will be minimal in 2025, and as a result, while longer term forecasts anticipate a slight slowdown in growth, EV sales will bounce back. And in fact, as well, Elon Musk himself said, the inevitability of EVs is certain. What that means is that um, policy changes won't really affect the inevitable outcome, which is EV sales. Well, EVs will take the entire car market worldwide before 2040. And I believe it's going to happen much, much sooner than that. What are your thoughts? Let me know what you think in the comments.